Hello viewers, welcome once again to Bash Math Studio. These lessons are going to be on the introduction to differential equations. We will learn today the basic concept of differential equation before we move on to solving equations involving differential equations or so we solve questions under differential equations. Now if we say differential equation, what does it mean? A differential equation is an equation that involves derivative or derivatives. So let's let's write just short definition. So a differential equation, let me write a DE, a differential equation. So let's write that. A differential, differential equation is an equation, it's an equation that Simply an equation that involves uh, involves derivative. So <coughs> we will cite example of differential equation. E.g., you will have dy dx equals to s is zero y prime equals to three x. And many more you can have a lot of them so now we in the definition we said something about derivative when we say a derivative <coughs> we mean a function has been differentiated or an equation has been differentiated so for instance if you have equation y equals to let's say x squared if this equation is differentiated you may write it as dy dx means the unknown function or the dependent variable y has been differentiated with respect to x. So dy dx will give you 2x. These are some of the basic differentiation you may learn earlier in our earlier videos. You may, you may go through, we will have all of them on Bash Math Studio here, how to differentiate these things. But it's very simple to differentiate this and that's what we are going to get in fact you can also write it as y prime is equal to 2x if you want to differentiate this function so this has been written as a derivative in terms of x y has been written as a derivative in terms of x that's what we mean by derivative but so now we are going to talk about two concepts under differential equation and that is partial and then um, ordinary differential equation these are the two main categories we are going to talk about or going to base our lessons on but before we move to partial we are going to deliberate much on ordinary differential equation solve more questions under differential equations on ordinary and then we'll move to partial differential equation we use a lot of systems to solve partial uh, ordinary differential equation before we move on to partial differential equation so let's let's know what partial and ordinary differential equations are now first of all ordinary differential equation so o d e so shorten as o d e ordinary differential equation a differential equation is termed ordinary whenever let's listen it to, to this carefully a differential equation is called ordinary whenever the unknown function y the unknown function here y 
is dependent on only one independent variable that is known function x so you see y here is dependent on only one known variable x which is also called as independent y is not dependent on uh, sorry x is not dependent on y rather y is dependent on x so here y becomes the unknown function and s becomes the known function y is also called the dependent variable and then x becomes the independent variable in this equation just as this so this is the dependent this is the independent good so we say a differential equation is ordinary ordinary when the unknown right the unknown function let's shorten fx and as function the unknown function defense depends on a single single known or independent independent sorry independent variable so let's cite an example so eg we may have um, any of these which is dependent on only one variable so if you have dy dx equals to let's say 3x 3x you may also have just c prime is equal to let's say 0 and so on so these are the two examples we cite you can get a lot of examples so here the unknown function y depends on only x that is only one variable and then here the unknown function c depends on only one variable which is x it can be maybe y any but this is also written as known note that we can write this one as dt dx equals to zero so this and that are the same so you don't say <coughs> because t is just equal we are only using y and x you can always always use any other variable as far as they are differential equations good so now we move to the next subcategory or the next type of od uh, differential equation which is p d e so and then of course a differential equation becomes partial when the unknown function depends on a single a uh, sorry more than one independent variable so you see a differential equation is partial or it's called partial it's partial when when the <coughs> unknown or the dependent unknown function relies or depends or is in terms of more than More than one independent variable. So, we'd like to cite an example, but there's no space down there. 
Now let's get rid of the definition of differential equation and cite example up here. Good. So example, e.g. from down there, an example we may say or examples we may cite uh, um, SA dy dx plus dy dt is zero comma let's say t prime or well, let's say f prime is equal to function f has been differentiated with respect to x and y. So all these are partial differential equations. So let me write this one to the reverse. So f x y to so f prime of x y is let's say equal to two x plus let's say y or two x y or any of them. It can be Let's, let's leave it here because we, we will get great match on later on. So we can have is equal to 2xy and so on as far as it is dependent on more than terms of variable x the partial differential. So these are the few partial differential equation of examples we can give. Now <coughs> we talked about uh, writing derivatives, how to write derivatives. In fact, Writing a derivative from our basic equation in an SHS, and even at the tertiary level, we know that a derivative is when a function or equation has been differentiated. So, for instance, giving a function y equals to, let's say, x squared, we can write this one as a derivative in terms of x by writing y prime is equal to 2x. So this has been differentiated. So y has been differentiated with respect to x. Note that this can be written as dy, sorry, dy dx equals to 2x. Now, so it is also the same thing as writing the first derivative of y equals to 2x. Now, this and that is what I want to deliver a little bit on. This is a little clearer to all of us. Now, talking about y prime, and then also y, these are all first order derivatives. These are all first order derivatives. But note that you can interchangeably, sorry, you can interchangeably use this and then that. But note that this is not the same thing as this. When using this, make sure that they are in a bracket or it is in a bracket. But if you are using this, it is just a prime, so y prime. And this is y to the power 1 in a bracket. The reason why I'm saying that they are not the same is when the derivative is a second order, like this y prime prime and this. So you see, this is a second order derivative. If you omit the bracket, it just means that this is not a differential equation or this is not a differentiation. It is just y squared, just ordinary y squared. But if you put it in a bracket like I've done here, it means y has been differentiated twice, which is equivalent to y prime prime. This is second order, second order. And therefore, this is a bit different from this. So you have to take note about the two differences. So sometimes you see that y n. So this is an nth derivative of y, meaning that n can take any value 1, 2, 3, and so on up to infinity. So we have to take note for the difference. Don't go and write m derivative of y as this. It's wrong. This is y to the power n. So we always make sure that we're conscious of these basic things. Along the line, we'll be using all of them. So we have to take note. Thank you very much for following. The, this episode of this uh, the video in fact there are a lot of these videos 
coming up there please do well to subscribe for us in fact be the first to get notification about our videos whenever we upload them from today we will get a lot of them coming coming with the solutions very much simplified and easier for you at your the comfort of your home right here at bash mat studio please do well to subscribe for us share for your colleagues to also benefit thank you see you in the next episode